Hello, everybody, and welcome to our fall 2020 virtual trunk show. This is such an exciting occasion. I cannot believe how many of you wonderful women and a few men have registered for this event. My heart is just glowing inside. It's so good to see people who I know and meet new people tonight. And with this, I'm going to take a moment and I'm going to make a toast or a l'chaim. And we are going to acknowledge a new season. And I wish for everybody wonderful things in this new year that we have. We have a, an election and we have a new season. And with that, I wish everybody health and happiness and joy. I see some of my, my people raising their cups. Cheers. And to, to all of you and to all of us. So this is really cool. I have to tell you, um, I've been on the shopping channel before. I've been on TV interviews. I've spoken to classrooms of university students and I've had a lot of different experiences speaking publicly, but I'm a little bit nervous. Uh, you know, I have drawing shows all the time. I'm blessed to travel the world and show people my collections on a regular basis. But this is a little bit different because we have about 40 minutes and change together and you're going to analyze every single thing that's taking place here and behind me. So with that being said, I'm going to jump into what a trunk show is because very often people say to me, what does it mean that you have a trunk show? They literally visualize a trunk and a bunch of treasures inside it. And it's kind of similar to that concept. Generally what happens is I go to a store or a department store, a boutique, or sometimes even in my own showroom, and we show everybody the entire collection. And not only do we showcase it, but I have the ability to meet one-on-one -on -one with people and greet you and get a really good sense of who you are and you get a little bit of a sense of who I am and we speak and we converse and it's a personal, personal, intimate back and forth. And every time I have a trunk show, I reflect on it and I feel so privileged because not only do I get to share with you um, my beautiful jewelry and a little bit about me and what I infuse into it, but I'm blessed to learn about you. So this evening, it's gonna be a little bit different. We did encourage everybody to send any questions that they wanted prior to the show and I am very excited to address them. But if there's something else that you may have thought of throughout the show, feel free to type it out and I will do my best to address it within this time frame. So here we are, Trunk Show, Fall 2020. And this is a dynamic season for so many different reasons. Before I jump into the collection itself and the inspiration and a lot of other things that you may be curious about, I actually want to tell you a little bit about myself. And the reason being is because as the creative director of this collection, you will always have a little bit of me infused in every single piece. Whether it's something that I see happening in the world or maybe something happening in my personal life, I always infuse a little bit of it into the jewelry. So here we are. I, um, I'm in Toronto, but it was amazing outside today that I actually felt like I was back home in LA. And that's where I'm from. I am from LA, born and raised. And I actually, I didn't really organize this very much, but I wrote out this part of my life because it's very easy to get overwhelmed and focus on other things. And I really want to dictate to you certain points here. So if I lose my eye contact with you, forgive me. I'm so big on eye contact, but I want to make sure that you really get the gist of this. Let's take a five second break here. Cheers to where I came from. Let's start this right. Okay. I love red wine. We're going to talk about fun facts tonight too. Okay, so I am from Los Angeles, West Hollywood, and I have just always loved fashion. Fashion has been something that has been a, 
part of my identity, my biological makeup. I come from a home where beauty was infused through the walls. My mom was very fashion conscious. And one day when I was in third grade, I noticed near her, um, her little stand near her bed, there was a beautiful Vogue magazine and Christy Turlington was on the cover. And I took my third grade picture and cut it out and put it right on top of Christy Turlington's face. And I actually, my mom gave me the magazine and it hangs in my office, but I brought it out here. This is my, I don't know if you could see, um, this is my magazine cover. And I basically envisioned myself as someone who was going to be in the fashion world some way, somehow. I didn't exactly know what part I would have in it, but I knew that I wanted it so badly. I was a very shy child. My mother tells me that I used to hide behind her skirt. But I used fashion as an expression of myself and of what I really wanted to be. Ironically, my favorite color at a very young age, maybe grade two, grade three, was black. And as you can imagine, my mother was very concerned. Why does her little girl like the color black and only want to wear black and put her hair in a severe bun and wear black? But that was my expression. I was very curious. And with my curiosity, I learned to try on my mom's clothing in her closet. I would go into her beautiful closet, which was curated so neatly, and there were plastic bags on everything. And when mommy wasn't home, Rebecca tried on everything. I tried on her heels. I looked at her nail polish. I opened it. I smelled it. I put it back. I took a big scent smell of her perfumes, and I just loved everything about glam and beauty. It really spoke to me. I am the youngest of three. My older sister was my role model, and whenever she wasn't home, I would open up her drawers and take out all her clothing and try it on. And then I would meticulously fold it to the best of my ability so she wouldn't know. And it took me a couple years to figure out what my true aesthetic was. But I was intrigued and inspired by a multitude of different eras and styles. My fashion sense developed extensively over the years and I always had a unique look. I used to go into my grandmother's house and I would entertain her. She would laugh every time she saw me all dressed up. I would put on some funky clothing and she would just have such a good time watching me. Over the years, I took things very seriously in the industry and by the time I was 16 years old, I had an opportunity to work at my favorite store. My favorite store is The Gap. And The Gap was rolling out their first jewelry collection ever. It was in the Beverly Center. And I was a very good client at the age of 16 and I finally was legal to work. And they put me into the jewelry department. And that was the first time I got to merchandise and touch and feel in a work setting. But my grandmother, who actually was in the diamond industry, always had the most beautiful, colorful jewelry, and she used to mis mix it up with what they called costume jewelry. I like to call it fashion jewelry. And that was really my exposure to fashion. And so it traveled with me, and years later, I had the beautiful privilege and opportunity to move to New York City. And fun fact, I'll be throwing them out throughout the evening. I finished high school at the age of 16 years old. I had a year abroad. I went to Israel. I volunteered in a couple fashion shows that were taking place there. And I went to New York by the age of 17. And I went to the Fashion Institute. And I went to another university at the same time. And I was exposed to an entirely different fashion world, so different from LA but it was so serious and intriguing. I used to go shopping every single day. I would either literally shop or I would window shop, but it was the most incredible exposure to the fashion world and it just made it even more clear to me that this was something that I really wanted to do. In fact, my dream was to be a wedding couture designer. 
And I studied so many different courses. I studied everything from mannequin display to merchandising to design and all these different things that I studied ended up trickling into my own business many years later. Another fun fact that I'll be throwing out at you is that I had the incredible opportunity to work for Ali Tahari for three years. I was, I started off as his receptionist and then I was a fitting model and I used to meet with editors and I would try on the clothing and they would ask me how it felt and what my opinion was. And then ultimately I was an assistant to the designers. My time in New York was over and then I moved to Toronto. And Toronto was very ripe in its fashion sense and it was a big change. It was very different from LA and it sure was different from Toronto. And the struggle was real. And let's say that was in 2000 and here we are, 2020. I can't believe it because I still feel like that 17 year old girl sometimes, but I'm not. I took every single thing that I learned from my upbringing, from my education, from my early careers, and brought it to Toronto and had my hand in a lot of different things. Let's start off with some fun facts. Moved to Toronto, had my first child at 22, had another child, my second one at 24, had my third one at 27. And so I did little things within the industry um, during that time period, but I took a little bit of a break to focus on being a mummy. And by the age of 28 years old, I had three children under the age of five years old. At that time, I became a single mom and the inception of Rebecca Price began. And I'm gonna quickly jump into how the business started because I think it's inspiring. It's for you, know, you to understand how it evolved and where it's come over all these years. I came across the most exceptional pair of, of crystals. They were vintage crystals. I was enamored by them. I believed in them very much. To make a long story short, I was nine months pregnant with my third child. And I made a decision that this was something I was gonna learn about more. Let's throw out another fun fact. I have no formal training in jewelry design. I'm blessed by the grace of God and maybe great genes to have a good eye, but I do not have formal training in technical jewelry design. And so with that being said, I did some research and I found a factory that was not willing to speak with me until I got onto an airplane across the world. And so I had my baby and he was the most divine little thing and I took him with me on an airplane and met people across the world who didn't speak English very well. And I started to learn how to make jewelry and what it meant to design fashion jewelry, which is very different from anything else. And that was where it all started. I came back to Toronto, actually it was Hamilton at the time, and I had a few samples and I, I'll throw out another fun fact, used to look into the mirror and say, this is a gorgeous necklace. I would totally buy this piece. In fact, I have the necklace right here. This is the first necklace I ever made. This is, okay, let's see if you can see this. It's called Light Azure. It's a light blue. And at the end is a red stone. I'm doing a horrible job here, forgive me. And I used to wear this necklace and people would stop me and say, where did you get that? And I said, oh, I think I'm gonna be starting a business. And I had a piece of paper and I would, you know, every so often add a name to it. And until I had 24 or so names on that piece of paper, I made a decision that this was something that I was gonna go forward with. And so, that is how Rebecca Price became Rebecca Price. And so I used to make the jewelry at my table when my children were asleep at my dining room table. And I would literally research stores that were in neighboring areas and I would do my best to sell the line. And it got busy 
and I hired some people to help me at the dining room table and I didn't sleep and I had carpal tunnel and I didn't know really what I was doing. Fun fact, I used to make up a lot of the names of the stones when I would go to stores. Another fun fact, my best seller, which is my multi Rivoli necklace, I literally put it together because I wanted to have a palette to show buyers and stores of, you know, options of what they can choose from. And, you know, I have a lot of gratitude because that piece ended up being my best seller. 13 years later, our Rivoli multicolor necklace is still our best seller. And I would go into stores and I would say, okay, well, this is fudge and this is strawberry and this is popsicle and whatever silly thing I could make up on the spot, I did. And so here we are and I've had the most wonderful opportunity to sell to stores all over the world. We sell to high-end department stores and we sure as heck sell and rebeccaprice.com. And I wanna take this moment to uh, raise my glass to you. Thank you so much for supporting the brand in the most difficult of times. We have had historically the most phenomenal online sales and it is not because I haven't worked hard because I have, but it is because of you and your loyal support to the brand that we are actually here this evening. So really and truly, I'm so touched. There are so many women here who I haven't seen in many, many years since I first started. And there's a lot of new ladies here. And there's some people who are new friends. And so all of you have made such a difference and an impact, not only on my business, but on me as a designer. You have inspired me so very much. You know, so, so many people have asked, what is your inspiration? And that's such a hard question because inspiration is not just something that you get. Inspiration is actually something that you pray for. It is so hard to make in a, a commitment, a financial commitment and a commitment to something that you really don't know if people are gonna like and believe in as much as you do. And, you know, I have to dig deep every single season and think what does inspire me, especially what inspires you during a pandemic? And I think we have to really pivot and train ourselves to be inspired by the positive and by the good. Because it's very easy to fall into the trap of sadness. I love making a black necklace sometimes because it's so easy and it speaks to my mood. But then you really have to take a step back and say, no, times are hard, but we're going to get through this. And, and so going back to the question of what is your inspiration? I decided to dig deep and to go back to the beginning. What made me start Rebecca Price? What made me make this the fourth child in my life? What is it that inspired me in 2008 that inspired me to leave my kids so often and to get onto a plane and to sell my collection? In 2008, when this started, we were going through an economic crisis. I cannot say it was the most ideal time to start a business. And so here we are in 2020 and we have COVID-19. And I was inspired by the necessary ingredients to make a collection. What is it that we need to survive and thrive in this world? Well, we need to feel strong and we need to feel confident and have faith that we're gonna get through it. And it always helps to feel pretty while you're doing all of these things. I'm gonna take one second, in case you're just coming in here, and tell you before, I don't wanna interrupt, but I wanna keep you in the loop here. We are offering a 20% discount off this current collection. And I'm just gonna be throwing it out because I don't wanna forget, this is exciting. This is like my thank you to you. I'll get back to the story, but tonight, the code is lucky you, cap locks. I'm moving out here. Lucky you, lucky you, you're gonna get 20% off a new collection. And at the end of the evening, I'm also going to announce the winner 
of our giveaway because some lucky lady is walking off with a brand new piece from my fall collection. So I'll, I'll get in there. Where did I leave off? Now, where was I? Anybody? Um, oh yes, I was talking about the ingredients is, um, that it takes to make a collection during this time. So I'm gonna hop on to this collection because there's a lot of amazing pieces and I know I've chatted a lot, but there are specific things that I have made sure to incorporate into this collection. Number one is chain because chain is strength. Number two is color because a color really suits your mood and what you're going through. We all know that psychologically color relates to so many different moods. And of course, shape because round stones represent the cycle of life and so on and so on. So without further ado, thank you for listening to my story. If you have any other questions about it, I'm very happy to answer. I'm very transparent. And if we were in person, I'd give you a big hug and a kiss. So please accept that virtually um, because I'm so touched that you're here with me now. Okay, so the first piece of jewelry that I'm going to show to you from this collection are my Gina earrings. So I'm gonna pull them up close here. My Gina earrings are a cushion cut stone that have a little touch of a red baguette at the bottom. My collection has little touches of red, the same way you're seeing red on a fall runway. I'm very much inspired by couture. I know red is a touch and go color. And to be honest with you, I never really thought that I'm a red person, but in case you um, missed this fantastic piece, I really do love red very much. This is a different type of red. It's a rich red. This is a clear crystal cushion cut stone, and it has that little surprise, which we're gonna talk about, of a red baguette at the bottom. It is the perfect size. And I, I do wanna mention here that every single piece that you're looking at is manufactured in Italy. I am so grateful to my factory in Italy because obviously Italy got hit very hard and we are so committed to each other. My factory is operated by a group of women who generate like girl power all the way. And I always joke because their English is mm, but we, we learn to communicate on what matters most and we, we understand each other. And so um, they helped me build this beautiful collection. Their, um, their work is really flawless and beautiful. So these are the Gina earrings and you're gonna see that these earrings are so great with a statement necklace. So often people say, you know, what earrings do I wear with a big necklace? A pair of earrings like this are so great. Also, I just want to point out to you that every single piece says made in Italy and the backings to all of our earrings have a plastic disc. You literally squeeze the earring and the disc to your ear and it's going nowhere and they're super comfortable. So those were the Gina earrings. Um, I find, especially because we're living in such um, limiting times in the sense that, you know, we're not really physically going to the same places that we used to be. Zoom, um, yes, um, Zoom plays such an important role in the way that we go back and forth with people. And so your face is central. It is so important. And our number one category in jewelry sales now more than ever, and it usually is this, but necklaces and primarily earrings are so important. And I stress it because when you're engaging with a person, hopefully the words that you're conveying are satisfying uh, the receiver, but it's always important to convey certain feelings. So, you know, if you're trying to um, convey a soft look or a look that's a little bit more bold and confident, there's a lot of options for you tonight. Okay, somebody wants to see, other than my hand, a way to contrast the piece. I got you. I got you. Okay, the next pair of statement earrings, which have been fantastic sellers for us, are called the Etta earrings. I designed these earrings in two color waves this season because 
uh, I think they really speak holiday. The first one I'll show you is, I hope this is better, in a beautiful red jewel tone. The top portion of these earrings has a pave crystal design. They're really light on the ear. And then the bottom portion has the jewel. This is the second option in an emerald green. So for those of you that follow me, you will know that I am really big on green. I think green is a color that's a little bit different. Not everybody understands it. I think it's a smart color. Um, and so I hope you can see this. I truly apologize if you can't. Um, but red and the emerald are your options in these earrings. Again, these are light. They're so easy to wear. And you know, I often talk about pieces that are no brainers. This is that piece that would be a wonderful present for somebody to, if you wanted to give them something a little bit extra, as something a little bit different, I think it's a sure thing. Guys, I hope you're having fun. Show me, show me a thumbs up or like a yeehaw or something in your chat. Um, okay, the next thing that I wanted to talk about here is, oh, thank you. Um, the next thing I wanted to talk about here is the importance of, you know, the shapes of the stones. We've had such a terrific response to our Emerson pieces. Our Emerson um, collection is an emerald cut. I'm going to do this. These are the emerald cut studs in the topaz. And then I have them, of course, in the crystal. Now, I, I'm starting off a little bit on the more subtle, and then I'm going to grow with you here. What's fantastic about a pair of earrings like these is that you can easily wear them with our popular Rivoli necklaces, which are the round stone crystal necklaces or you're gonna be able to wear them with another piece that I'm gonna show you. But I think it's really interesting to mix the round stones and the emerald cut stones together because you're creating a dimension. I always talk about creating a story and I think it's interesting. So for example, the piece that I'm wearing right now, I'm wearing a couple pieces. Somebody asked me, um, you know, Okay, thank you for the message. Somebody asked me, um, how do you layer? And so tonight I took the liberty of putting together a couple pieces, but one of the pieces I wanted to point out was my Charlotte necklace. Now Charlotte is the one that has a combination of the white pearls and the gold chain. And on a piece like this, which is such a fantastic layered statement piece, the Emerson earrings would be a really interesting, um, way to wear it. Hold on, I'm trying to find a better background as per someone's request. Okay, rock and roll, I think I did it. And so the emerald cut also really gives you that sense of structure and security. And I always feel that when you're wearing certain pieces, it most certainly affects the way that you feel. And so, um, you know, when you have structure, you feel safe, you feel confident. These are the Emerson drop earrings. They are set in primary colors. And I love these earrings because they literally go with everything. They are fun, they have movement. They're not too big, just so you get a sense of how they are in terms of their size. They are such a fun earring to wear, even with a white blouse and a pair of jeans. But if we're talking about inspiration and good vibes, then we're talking about a piece like this. So here's your layering question, and here's your inspiration question all put together. So this is your Emerson necklace, which is brand new this season. This piece, I hope you're not distracted by the other things. I'll actually take them off right now. The, this necklace is so spectacular. If you're going to wear it on its own, there's a couple things to note here. At the reverse part of this necklace, you have an extension chain, so you could play around with the length. You can have it as long or as short as you want, and you have the ability to wear another piece in it. So I decided to layer, usually I would take a silk necklace, but we are 120% sold out of silk in every way, shape, and form. So I took the next best thing, which is still fantastic. It's the Vintage Rose Rivoli Necklace. Look how fabulous this is. Now, I'm not sure if you can really get a good sense here of the shine, but these are Swarovski crystals. So 
you know, considering for what you're paying, you're getting the best quality because Swarovski crystals have the most intricate facets, the most beautiful color waves. It's like you're getting the Maserati of crystals. So I'm crazy about that. So every single piece that you see here, even the little tiny crystals or the pearls are all a genuine Swarovski. So this is a really nice story for holiday going into the new season. Now somebody asked me a question here. What are my new Rivolis? So there are two new Rivolis that we introduced this season. One is Ash. Ash was a slow start, but she went and hit it hard. She is so sold out right now. She is on back order. And I would have loved to have worn her tonight. And I encourage you to go onto the website. You can actually take a really good look at it. And if you really want it very badly, you can email us at info And we will reserve it for you because they will be coming back in stock at the end of the month. I actually don't even have one myself, which is like so silly. It happens to me all the time. But Ash is fantastic. And another amazing piece. Another new Rivoli, which is so awesome, is Zelda. Do you remember when we were kids, Zelda was that like cool video game warrior? Well, she inspired this. I want to show you a little bit closer of what Zelda is. Zelda is inspired by that camo color scheme here. Here we go. And just the same way that you see in fashion, how camo is so big, it's neutral, it's mixed with so many different things. You'll even see it on a rain jacket. Like it just, it's one of those staples in the fashion world. So is this piece. I love it so much. It incorporates a lot of neutral colors. One of my favorite colors in here, actually like there's a lot of favorite ones. Um, but I was going to mention the olivine. It's that like army green. It's that Ralph Lauren safari that you just never want to leave. It is that necklace that you can wear for the entire year. I love it very much. And we also have a matching Rivoli bracelet. So the Rivoli bracelet incorporates the same colors. I want to mention that everything here is set on gold. Gold has been a very strong metal for the past couple seasons. And the gold that we use is fantastic. By the way, like our plating is done so well. Just to give you a little bit of education about how the product is made, everything is brass plated. But this is so, it's done so well, unless you're scuba diving in Hawaii, or rubbing some serious creams on it, or you might be allergic and be very sensitive to it. Like there's nothing better than our plating. I am so proud of our manufacturing. So that's Zelda. Okay, now I wanna make a point and mention to you that, you know, there's different looks for different people. And one of the most beautiful things um, that, you have the ability to do as a woman is express yourself any which way that you want. So, you know, taking that into account, jewelry is the easiest way to manifest either what it is you want to convey to people or how you want them to perceive you. I always was told there's a time and a place for everything. Generally, if you want to have that ladylike feel, then pearls are definitely the way to go. Okay, I'm going to show you. I'm wearing a couple pieces here. This is my Michelle necklace. God, give me strength on the way I'm going to convey this. I'm being a hot mess right now. I might have to take it off. No, I'm going to show you the Reese, which is similar. Okay, it is a full-length necklace. This is a necklace that has three um, rows of it. But basically, you have these like refined, ladylike, graceful features that come out of a necklace like this. However, if you want to convey another mood, like my Charlotte necklace, which I pointed out to you, which is the mixture of the larger pearls on the chains, it's a three-row necklace. That's something that gives a little bit of a bolder effect. That's the necklace that says, hey, buddy, I'm gentle, I'm a pearl, but don't start with me because my backbone is chain. And that's the beauty. That is the beauty of having a trunk show and really understanding the ideas behind the designs. And so you 
have the choice right now. Who is it that you want to personify? Who is it that you want to be? What's the mood that you want to take on? So I briefly mentioned this is the Reese necklace. And you know, when you have a piece like this, in our editorial, because our lifestyle changed, a lot of people say like, really, where am I going to be wearing a piece like this? This is that piece that you throw on a cashmere sweater and a pair of jeans and just, you know, maybe watch a movie with a friend or whomever it is. It's a really special piece. And with that piece, you have a lot of different options for earrings. You have these gorgeous Lola earrings, which are a white pearl. They have a subtle baguette on the top. We also did them in the green. And these are pearls that have that crystal quality on the top. These have sold out a couple times now. These are a little bit more classic in the white pearl. They're both fantastic and they're priced really well. If you're that person that prefers a really great stud, because I always find women are either into the drops or they're into studs, I have everything for you. In fact, I cook the same way. I'm all about pleasing you and giving you everything that you want. These are the Maggie earrings. I love these, I own them. They have a beautiful multicolor strass around the half of the pearl, it's like a moon shape. So you really have the ability to move these however you wanna wear them. They would look great with that gorgeous pearl and crystal necklace I showed you, but they're neutral and they're fun. And they're a little tiny expression of joy and happiness. And I always say when you're wearing a piece of jewelry, it's not just about your enjoyment, but I guarantee you that the person who's looking across is like, wow, that just feels good. That makes me so happy. Okay, I have to show you. Um, one of my favorite pieces this season is the Blair necklace. I did a little video on it not too long ago. This is a lariat. It opens. It has an inspiration of Chanel because you have the pearls. We have the reference to the star. You know I love stars. Um, and you can tie this however you want, but the beauty of this piece really lies at the end. This is the beauty, okay? This is the inspiration. In life, you have to celebrate the unexpected, and we know that very well. And so instead of having two tassels, what I did was I took this baguette concept, which I just love so much, and this is a new color, everybody. It's a denim blue, and I paired it up together. So you have the ability to tie this piece any which way you want. You can wear it as a belt, you can wear it as a choker, you can wear it backwards, but the idea here is to wear it because it's phenomenal and the chain is Italian chain. Like mom always said, if it says made in Italy, buy it. It's just so good. And so talking about denim blue, like everybody knows denim, denim jeans are the best seller in the fashion world and they can be worn both casually and formally. Well, we this season introduced denim blue in a smaller stone. We have what's called the Maxine nut, um, bracelet. It's set in a gold. I love it as just a beautiful piece on its own or layered with its own story. And then we also have a matching necklace, which is called Natalie. These are actually sold out right now. You can't even have this piece, but again, you can email us at info at rebeccaprice.com. I love this so much. It's going back to that original piece. It's about digging back to what inspired us and, and what do women want? And I think it's very obvious if it's sold out that this is what women want. They want something that's easy to wear and makes them feel good. So we have it in the denim blue and we also have it in the crystal white. And going back to what inspired this business at the very end of the piece, right near my name, right near my logo is that extra red stone. And that stone is a symbol of good vibes and good energy and protection. And I think everybody really wants to feel good these days. And that's the purpose of this jewelry. And I really swear by it. I live by it. I can't believe it's 740 because like I still have so much to talk about. So I hope you guys are intrigued and, and okay to keep going. New this season are my... I literally just knocked them down. <laughs> New this season are my birthstone bracelets. Again, we have done something like this in the past um, for a big, big store. 
And I said, you know what? I think people would really appreciate something like this. This is the story behind the birthstone bracelet. I'm gonna take one down. You see, there's 12. And the way it works is for each month that you're born in, there's a certain color. I'm January. January is a garnet. This is the red. This is that gorgeous piece that looks great on its own or you can layer it. There's an extension chain. But the best part, like I'm all about the details. I love those little things that are gonna make this piece different than something else I've seen. Is that there is this beautiful star. Oh, please tell me you can see it. There's a beautiful dangling little star that incorporates that birthstone that you have. And the star represents so many wonderful things. It's hope, it's goals, it's magic, it's direction. When you look up in the sky and you, and you look at the stars, there's a light and you know that you're gonna be okay. That's the birthstone bracelet. Now listen, you don't necessarily have to wear your color. If you're not fond of topaz, but you really like the opal, then easy peasy, you can go for a piece like that. Okay, I'm gonna keep going here. These are our bangles this season. Bangles have always been one of those things that people always ask us about. And so we produce them in a few colors. There's rose, there's red, there's graphite, there's topaz, there's crystal. I'm a big fan of them. They're set in a gold, they're pave, and the best part is that they're not gonna ruin your clothing. So we're still gonna be friends at the end of all of this. Um, they're beautiful. I really suggest that you take a great peek at them and they're priced again very well. And I keep mentioning price because I'm very sensitive to the fact that times are a little funny these days. And throwing that out there, again, we have a code for tonight. For the next 24 hours, we do have Lucky You. You will be getting a 20% off with that code on this collection. A couple other pieces that I wanna throw out there to you. I am so crazy about this piece. This is our honey necklace. Our honey necklace is literally like honey. It flows, it's a neutral palette. It's a combination of silver shade and golden shadow and silver night and it's neutral, but it's still a pattern and it's interesting. The stones are a little bit larger. It's not a heavy piece, but you sure know that you're wearing it. It's set in the gold. Again, you can play around with the length and you can layer. You can take a piece like this and you can literally put it together and create something that makes sense for you. Um, and I'm always inspired by what people come up with for their own, um, for their own personal story. So, you know, if you want to send us pictures, I would always love to see and get that inspiration. Okay, I'm getting to one of my best sellers this season. And with that being said, not only is this the best seller, but I know that it's such a good piece and I love it so much that I'm giving it away tonight. I wanna give you something that you're just gonna go crazy about. I'm not just giving you anything. I'm giving you the Fiona necklace. Okay, the Fiona necklace actually is everything. This necklace speaks the purpose of the collection and that's why some lucky person is going to be getting it at the end of this okay like where do we begin the chain is so beautiful on this piece and you know originally i was going to make this just a solid gold chain necklace that you could wear with everything and you know what let's just keep it real you, you can find that anywhere these days that's like not new but what makes an RP piece so spectacular and so special is the uniqueness and the thought process behind it. And so, yes, I encourage you to be bold and feel strong and look like a warrior princess because we all need that. But I add a little bit something to it. I gave you a little bit more of a story, a dimension. We put together such beautiful baguettes. These are Swarovski baguettes in a sapphire, emerald, pink. Like I took all those like high-end looking colors, because they are, they speak brilliance, especially for a fall palette. And we put them midway into the necklace. So it's like, like here's like a celebration of life. It's like, here's a little bit of confetti that landed on my necklace. And for me as the designer, it's like giving you that joy and that celebration of life. So pretty soon I'm gonna announce the winner of this piece. 
but if you didn't win it, don't feel bad because you can still get it tonight at 20% off. And um, we do have a few left in stock. Okay, oh, was there another necklace on there? No, did I take it off? No, okay. Um, now, if you're looking for something a little bit more simple, thank you. By the way, um, I have to embarrass Monica, my, the most incredible, she's not even an assistant, she's just like everything in the, in the entire world. And you know, I cannot take credit for anything without her. So thank you, Monica. Everybody loves Monica. Um, so this necklace over here that I'm gonna show you is the Jade and Pendant. I actually think this is my last one. This has been such a hot seller. Uh, the beauty behind this necklace is you have this fantastic crystal baguette, but then you have that little touch of a sapphire baguette on the bottom, a really delicate, nice chain. So this allows you to wear the piece um, on its own, or you can wear it with another necklace, of course. Um, but it's the Jaden necklace, and I really believed so much in it that I actually had to produce a matching pair of earrings because these are on a French back. Gosh, I'm sorry with my hand here. Let's try this again. They're on a French back earring. Literally, it's just like half an inch below your earlobe, and it sits so perfectly and you have this clear crystal baguette. These are so perfect for holiday or just literally going to Loblaws. Um, they are sure to get a great response and that little extra touch of blue is so special. Let's just chat about blue for a second. I always say blue is my black. I think blue is that calming color. I think it's a great energy. It's so neutral, it's so easy to wear and so there's a lot of touches of blue. Speaking of which, I'm gonna introduce you to my Abigail earrings. I love these piece, like this jewelry is so spectacular. These in particular, they have a vintage feel to them, but then they have that little rock star element with the chain and they're in an oval. And I always find that ovals are a very royal shape and they fall just in the right spot. Could you see them? Because I'm wearing underneath these fantastic pieces over here. These are the Tabitha earrings. I know I'm zooming through this, get it, zoom. I'm going through it really fast because I want to keep you, I'm intrigued and I know I'm taking a lot of time and, and so thank you for, for sticking through it with me. So these were the Abigails. We're gonna wave bye-bye to Abigail. There's not so many left. And I will hop on over to Tabitha. Tabitha has been a fantastic seller for us. We are also doing the Tabitha in a crystal. So we have them in the multi and in the crystal. And if you take a really close look at these, I mean, they are so intricate and special because they have all these gorgeous shapes put together to create this amazing geometric expression that almost looks like a picture frame. And I love them and they're light. I almost forgot I was wearing them. Okay, moving on over here. Um, hoops are those earrings that will never go out of style. I went big this season. I want you to imagine a fantastically oversized cowl neck, turtleneck, oh, I would say gray, because I have one at home. And then you put together a beautiful pair of hoops like this. These earrings are incredible statement pieces. You have the Rivoli on the top. Here, let's do it this way. No, that wasn't good. You have the Rivoli stone on the top. You have a crystal pave. And then the neat thing is from the back, you can see that burnt orange crystal, which is so hot right now. And so like you have this little piece of sparkle pretty much wherever you're moving. They are not heavy. That's the funny thing because they have that like great significant appearance, um, but they feel really good on the ear. I almost wore them tonight, but I didn't. Speaking of hoops, these are the Fiona hoops. Oh my gosh, look at these hoops. They take on that same personality 
of that amazing necklace that I showed you. They're baguettes. Baguettes are special. My mom likes baguettes, so I guess maybe that's why I love baguettes. And the nice thing about these baguettes is that they literally are in line of the circle. You can see the stones from the inside. There are no details spared here. They look like a Ferris wheel. It's a celebration of life. And I think, you know, with all the stuff that's happening in the world, it's really important that you realize that you have a life in front of you and you can, you know, enjoy and, and really live your life to the fullest and do the best that you can in light of difficult times. People ask me all the time, do you have clip-on earrings? Well, I just don't have clip-on earrings. I have the best clip-on earrings this season. Um, these are my fancy earrings. And they're called fancy because they're fancy. They are a crystal that's a little bit larger, but they are so substantial. I think these are the best earrings. Again, I go back to that white t-shirt, white blouse, jeans. Like you really need nothing else. I put my hair back in a bun and my sunglasses and bye-bye. So these are beautiful clip-ons, really light on the ear. And so for all of you lovely ladies who are looking for clip-ons, here you go. Amazing. Um, another amazing statement piece because again, it's about self-expression are my Sasha earrings. Uh, these are like Sasha Fierce. Um, again, we emphasize the Rivoli feature and then there is that movement, that notion of the tassel. Tassels are a very classic thing. They never go out of style, but what's really spectacular about these tassels, sorry, I'm using my hand, but you have a mixture of chain and you have a mixture of stones. So it's very interesting and it always makes a reference. I always say it's rock and roll because it is rock and roll. It's just, they're so good. You can do anything in these. Okay. Um, I always highlight certain Rivoli pieces. For those of you, you know the Rivoli collection is numero uno to Rebecca Price. And I think as important as it is to own Rivoli's, it's nice to have a collection piece, which is what you've been looking at because collection is unique. Collection comes and collection goes. And so once it's gone, it's gone. And so it's important to have those unique pieces mixed with your classic pieces. And so with that being said, this season, I highlighted three specific colors that speak to the collection in the Rivoli Revolution. So when I go to stores, I highlight for them which Rivolis they need to invest in. So I'm going to highlight to you what you need to invest in. Number one, I always do things in threes. And I'll start off here with the graphite necklace. The graphite necklace is this mysterious black blue stone, really depends on what you're wearing. But the nature of this piece is depth and mystery. It's set in a gold. It's so beautiful on its own, but you know, why, why go simple when you can go, go larger than life? And you know, I tend to encourage people to mix it even with just a crystal, a white crystal together. This is a very classy, beautiful look wonderful with a holiday dress or with a beautiful cardigan and slacks but you know you do need that cream in your oreo and so hitting number three i am encouraging people to bite that olivine because i think it is a spectacular piece i love it i think it speaks integrity i think it speaks brains and i think it just took a black and white piece to the next level and that goes back to that camo zelda piece it's just an amazing, amazing piece. Again, the code for tonight is lucky you. Um, lucky you because we're, we're coming to an end here, but I do, wanna, I do wanna hold on to your attention for a couple more minutes. I love this piece. This is Helen. I'm actually wearing Helen. I'm gonna spare you. I was gonna get up. I'm wearing it doubled on my ankle tonight because you can wear it as an anklet too. But Helen is a beautiful necklace. Helen is a necklace that you can wear every single day and never take it off. You can wear it on its own or wear it with something else. Um, another piece that I, I love, and it's, it's small. Like I fight myself making small pieces, but not everybody wants a big piece. This is the Teresa necklace, it's backwards. Sorry, thank you. Teresa is tiny stones, 
that are beveled and they're set on a spectacular chain. It almost looks like a snake chain. It's really smooth. And if you're talking about layering, what a nice combination this is. It's very subtle. Again, we will be friends forever because it will not destroy your clothing. It has so many nice colors, burgundy, pinks, reds, a topaz. This is like so fresh for fall. But if you wanna talk about big and bold and confident, then I'm gonna show you my scarlet necklace because I think she is just the queen. Uh, this is that piece that you can wear as a full length or you can double it. But I just love how she framed everything that I'm wearing tonight. And it has like that bohemian chic feel. Something that's a little bit more specific. And I designed this before COVID. But if you have somewhere special to go, I love Paris. Paris came into fruition when I went to Paris. Um, there's a lot of asymmetry that we're seeing on the runways right now. This is set on a wire. What's so cool about this piece is, you know, your eye flows. This happens to fall always in the right spot. But the neat thing that we did here is that I have those red stones. And I tell you something, this is that piece that you're wearing and everybody's gonna talk about you. So if they're gonna talk about you, you want that little piece of red protection. Something's got your back here. It's a beautiful piece. She sits perfectly. And that's an important thing that you need to know here because as beautiful as these pieces may be, it's so important that they sit well on you. Okay, uh, where I have a request about um, the Mona ring. The Mona is a beautiful cocktail ring. I love cocktail rings, especially for holiday. Look when you're making a toast on a Zoom and you have that rich Montana blue um, stone with the little pave all around it. It's a gorgeous ring. All of our rings, by the way, are sized. This is the Esme ring, which is a pearl with just layers of crystal and opal. It's a dome. I think rings are important, especially when you talk with your hands. I'm big on talking with my hands, and so you want people to just be absolutely intrigued. Okay, we, we're coming to an end. Did you know that I made headbands this season? Are these Colette? Is that their name? Colette is in a crystal. You can totally put your hair back. You can do what you want with it. She's available in the crystal or in the Zelda color scheme. We have done headbands in the past. We have sold out of them. We did them as flat, but this season I broadened the dimension and did it a little bit differently. Super fun. Okay, you know I love hearts and you know I love stars. I've been talking about it. I'm crazy about these earrings. They're gonna be very big. You're getting a preview for Valentine's Day. These are my Venus earrings. They are in the silk. Somebody asked me if silk will be restocked. The answer is yes. They will, um, but our silk stones are like that flesh tone color that are neutral. This is the most beautiful shaped heart. It literally falls in the most perfect spot. So these are Venus, like the goddess Venus. Um, and speaking of love, we're coming to an end here. I wanna show you a couple more pieces that I love. Some bracelets that I love. Going back to the bangle the interesting Fiona bracelet. I'm actually wearing it right now. It's a wonderful multi. It's a very easy piece to wear. There's the Brie bracelet. The Brie looks very similar to the Helen. It has that popular paper clip chain, except for the fact that every single setting has a clear baguette in it. So it's really spectacular. A very nice piece to wear um, on its own or of course, with the Rivolis. And here we are. I do want to show you, I know we're, we're coming to an end. I have to show you though, we have our eyeglass chains, which can be worn as mask chains too. We have the Kiara, which is set in a pave beveled stone. It won't ruin your clothing. You can focus on the glamorous part or you can be more subtle with your gold medal. But I also put together a really beautiful chain for you, which is called Jasper. And this absolutely emphasizes Italian chain at its best. It's really detailed. It's just chain. And gosh, does it look good with every single piece that I'm wearing. It's neutral. It's fun. And I said this on my Instagram story the other day. 
if you don't have one, you, you're going to want to get one because for sure your grandmother had it, your mother wants one, and they are selling out so fast. It's crazy. Um, so you should totally check that out. I didn't bring out my Blanche earrings. Simple, simple, but you know what? Simple sometimes is the best. Don't really quote me on that, but God, these are lovely. These are just a substantial size pearl with a little chip of a pave. And sometimes we are in a simple mood and we may not feel like going out the door like this, but a pair of earrings like this with a sweatsuit always takes your game up a couple notches. And so I think I really hit on almost everything here. Um, I do want to tell you, I am doing a capsule collection. I want to thank everybody for their votes. I'll give you a three second preview. I'm not showing you everything, but this is my share necklace. I'll tell you a little secret. And the secret is that my capsule collection is just full of stars. And like I said, stars just symbolize the hope and the dream. And I'm all about achieving the dream. And I thank you from the bottom of my heart for helping me achieve my dreams every single day. I hope that I inspire you the same way that you inspire me because it's about a cycle here. It's about, you know, women supporting women and encouraging each other in easy times and not so easy times. But it's a reminder that no matter what, we're going to get through it. And so with that being said, here we go. Okay, the code again is lucky you in caps. You have 20% discount off of everything. So someone asked, how do you get the promotion? You literally plug it into your shopping cart. You'll have an opportunity to put in your promotional code. It will only be valid until tomorrow evening. So please take advantage of this. I really want to make it easier for everybody and I want you to have beautiful things and look good and feel good. And with that being said, the winner of this beautiful piece, this is the Fiona necklace, like I mentioned, and you should just know while I have your attention because you want to know who the winner is, every single piece comes with this groovy bag. This is fantastic because then you could take your little a little of this, and I'll wipe it down. And when you go traveling again, you're gonna put your jewelry in here, take it with you and, and feel my energy. You're gonna take it with you. And we're also, uh, we sent everything in a beautiful package, a quilted beautiful package. You know, the outside and the inside coming together. Back to the winner. The winner of the necklace is, should I say it or show it? Say it, Florence Jones. Yay, Florence! Florence Jones, thank you so much for registering. Thank you everybody for registering because you took that extra step to put in information. And for me, this was such an amazing evening. I would love to hear your feedback. I encourage you to email us, tell us what you want for next time because there's gonna be a lot of events. And this is the way the world's working right now and we're gonna work with it. So please, if you're not, um, on our contact list, be a part of it because you will get a special promotional code for your first order online. And there is free shipping when you spend a certain amount of dollars. And we have a lot of things happening. Can I say what's happening next week or is it a secret? Is it still a secret? We have a sample sale. We have a sample sale and it's like really good. It's like so good, it's crazy. It's gonna be up to 80% off. But it's not this stuff, it's different. And it's gonna be online and it's gonna be in my showroom. And it's gonna be done very carefully. You're gonna to have to wear masks and sanitize. And we've done it before and we're gonna do it again and I'm gonna make it great. I'm gonna have good music on and we're gonna we're gonna party hard. So thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers to everybody. I hope you have an amazing rest of your weekend and let's kill it for tomorrow, Monday. Let's motivate our Mondays, put on some good music, put on your jewelry and think positive. Sending you all my love, hugs and kisses. See you next time.